So, slightly different setup today. Sophie is in the background doing her makeup. We can see your little green slippers. Can you? Yeah. Also might sound like I'm in like a bird sanctuary or a zoo because Sophie has lovebirds. And they're currently making quite a bit of a ruckus right about now. So in today's video, me and Sophie are going to be taking you shopping again. But this time we're going to have a look around sort of like the home decor shop. So we're going to go to the range, B&M, Matalan, places like that and kind of see what Christmas decor is about because I don't know about anyone else but I need to have lots of candles and lots of cozy throws and stuff like that so we are going to be taking you shopping today if you haven't already pause the video make sure you've got yourself a drink make sure you are cozy and you've got all the snacks and I really really hope you enjoyed today's video so as you guys know Black Friday has now been and gone kind of happy about it because it's like my busiest time of year but I wanted to tell you about a money saving tool that I actually used massively on Black Friday. So as we've got Christmas and the January sales coming up, I thought it'd be really, really useful as well. I actually spoke about ShopTagger last month in a Primark video. And since then, I've had lots of questions on Instagram about what it was because you couldn't remember the name of it. So it is ShopTagger. I'm going to leave a direct link in the description box below. It's completely free. And basically, it's an online shopping assistant that saves you money. So I'm going to insert like a little screen recording in a moment so you can see just how easy it is to use and kind of how to use it to give you a bit of a feel for it. So the whole purpose of ShopTagger is to save it now and then to buy it later once ShopTagger has notified you of any savings. So on Black Friday, I actually created like a Christmas list of loads of gifts that I wanted to get my family. And then as soon as the Black Friday sales started rolling in, ShopTagger actually emailed me and I was able to get so much stuff at discounted price i actually got some of sophie's um presents in black friday at sale but that means i can buy you more i did the same with you My did you really stuff sophie's got shop dagger too it's so good isn't it's it handy. it's really handy so i'm gonna insert a little screen recording now of shop tagger just so i can kind of show you around and show you just how brilliant it is so once you click the link in the description box below all you need to do is make a quick account with shop tagger you will then need to install the shop tagger button so simply click this button here then go to add to chrome add extension and then as you can see the little shop tagger button will appear on the right hand side of the toolbar then you can browse through thousands of shops and once you've chosen the store that you'd like to have a look on you simply click it and shop tagger will redirect you to their website so once you've found an item that you'd like to save you simply click on the item you then head over to the shop tagger button which again is on the right hand side of the toolbar then you can actually select when shop tagger notifies you so you can choose any price change 25 percent off or 50 percent off and then you can also save it to one of your lists i'm going to show you how to create these in a moment and then you simply just click save and shop tagger will save it to your chosen list so as you can see shop tagger has actually saved it to my christmas gifts list this is one of my absolute favorite features on shop tagger you guys know how much i love to be organized and make lists and keep everything just in its right place so i'm going to create a new list called january sales simply choose your name add a description and then hit save this is my empty january sales list which i'm sure will be filled up very very soon one of shop tagger's new amazing features is if you find something online that you like and you add it to your basket shop tagger will then automatically scan the internet for coupon codes so like i said direct link shop tagger will be left in the description box below and it's time to go shopping are you nearly ready darling I am indeed. I'm just sorting out my frizzy hair because I've just washed it. Oh no, just washed hair is like the worst. But then I didn't dry it properly, I didn't straighten it, so now... Rookie error, Sophie. I've got a bit of a, bit of a frizz issue. Everyone, grab a seat, get cosy, and let's go shopping. My it's a present God. set. That is so cute. Look at these stockings as well. They are beautiful. These would actually look so much nicer in my living room than the ones I've got at the moment. These little mini reed diffusers. Bloody Michael Bublé's playing. Can you hear him? Yeah. There's just so much stuff to show you in here. <gasps> so cute. Look at these little, are these like warm? Oh, they're the microwave ones. So cute. Look. Oh, Sophie, you've spotted oh. it as well. I was just about to go for that. Oh, how cute. Oh, my God. This is potentially, like, the most beautiful reindeer I've ever seen. I'm going to have to get that for the living room. <gasps> I love cream and gold to get... Oh, oh, my God. Look at Pengi. 
I'm actually, I'm actually so just, I'm speechless. I'm speechless, what can I say? Look at these little woolen Christmas trees. Woolen? Woolly. I think it lights up, you know. No way. Yeah, these little things like So light cute. Up. Oh my God, look at this door stuffer. I'm so sorry if I keep saying, oh my God, and cute. I just can't help myself. That is so cute. And then they've also got these kind of like Christmassy flowers in here as well. They look really nice in like a white vase. And they've got berries as well. They would look really nice with these. Also got these little Christmas like vases that I've already set up. And then I think that's more of like an autumny one. But look at this. That would be nice all year round, like not just for Christmas. I love that as well. Oh, I just bloody love everything in Next Home. So, this is actually unreal. There's a set of 20 of these like rose gold Christmas baubles and they're only six pounds. They've actually got so many nice ones. Look at that pack over there, wow. It's 10 pounds. 50. And they're so nice. And they're shatterproof. And they're shatterproof. That's good if you've got a cat. There's my phone, mustn't forget that. <gasps> These, I might actually get this for my tree. They're so nice. Also got them in red and silver. I love these velvet red ones in here as well. They kind of look like um, pool table balls. They do, don't they? They actually do. This little festive spice candle would make such a nice little gift for someone or a little stocking filler. Look at the little noses. And that's only seven pounds. Oh my god, that Festive is actually spice. my dream. Festive yeah. spice from Next is just the best scent. Ever. Oh my god! Think of all the cookies we could keep in there. Oh, oh my god! A little napkin ring. Oh, it just fell off. Napkin rings. Oh dear. They've also got tea towels and the oven gloves. And oh my god, more pudding. What's this? Oh, they've got aprons and a gravy oh, bow. You love a gravy bow, don't you? Bow. And then <laughs> they've also got Christmas stacking cups. I think they'd make a really nice gift as well. And the ultimate bloody plate set. Look, you get mugs in there as well. So I love these. I think they're so Christmassy. And they've also got this little stag coaster holder i think that would look so nice so they've, they've got the whole set here so you could have the gold table runner with these napkins and then these plates i think that kind of would all go together really nicely as a set and they've also got tablecloth there as well and look how glittery these placemats are really, really good so they've got the big jar here which is 30 pounds and then you could keep like a cake in here or you could keep some nice mince pies stacked up or something like that i think 40 pounds and 30 pounds isn't actually that bad <laughs> found the ultimate Christmas night in cheese board. I love. It's got a little thing for you. Oh, wow. That's only £16. I actually think that's unreal. What are these as well? Oh, look, these are a little cheese dome. Oh my God, Sophie, we could have the ultimate cheese nights. Tim has kind of been and gone now, but look at these little pumpkin dishes. Oh, my, I might have to just get these for next year. Oh my God, look at that crumble. That looks so good. Wow. That tape, oh, that whole setup. Wow, I, I am in love with that table. Oh my goodness, so I think I need to purchase that. Let's pretend. Oh my god, your little gravy boat. These are actually so nice, and I just love everything about this whole setup. This is also really, really pretty if you're going for like a silver theme. I love silver and navy blue together. So, we are now currently amongst all the um, stuff. towels <laughs> in TK Maxx. Now, I'm not gonna lie, our TK Maxx in Peterborough is a little bit of a um, shithole. It's quite stressful <laughs> today. There's so many, We're, we've come on a Saturday, so it's like the worst day to come to TK Maxx ever. Um, but we have just spotted some cute Christmas things, so we're going to show you those, but if we sound stressed out, it's because we are. So, look at this Santa soap dispenser. Look, there's loads. There's a standing up Santa, a sitting down Santa, a Christmas tree. Christmas this one's tree. kind of a little bit mind-blowing. I'm still trying to work out how you feel. I think it. the soap is full in this bit. But the thing isn't long enough, I've already been investigating. <laughs> It's a mystery. It's really an absolute mystery. One, so. so there are loads of these Christmas towels and I haven't actually seen any Christmas towels anywhere. So cute. Love this throw. Oh my god. I think anything like fairy looks super Christmassy. Is it quite big? Forty pounds. Oh yeah, go on. Give us a give us a little demo. 
I mean, it's not. Oh, that is lovely though. It's this big. <laughs> Thanks. I actually love that. Do you? I really want it. I should have went to Where start. are the Christmas candles? What? I think there's some down here. I'm going down, lad. Rustic firewood. Sophie, can we smell rustic firewood? Come in. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And here we have the only Christmas candle two pound I actually have. And it smells like ass. Do you found holiday spruce? I feel like someone's been in here and stolen all the Christmas candles. What's your star sign? Taurus. This is your smell. Oh, does it smell like rubbish? It's actually alright. This is Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. You're still in there. Three star signs cannot smell the same. Well, that's nice, it's fresh. I like these candles because they look like Joe Malone. I've got quite a few of these dotted about my house and I always think they look like Joe Malone, they're not Joe Malone, they're like a fraction of the price. No, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm going to be honest, bloody hell. Do you know what, I was really excited to come into TK Maxx because everyone knows in TK Maxx they're always on point with the Christmas things. You really think about the snowman earlier. Where the hell is Mr. Snowman's bloody carrot gone? I feel that's, that's ruined Christmas. I can't look at him anymore. I'm going to turn him round. Right, I take back every single thing I said. We found one fra la 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 Christmas la, candle. La, la. Do you want to smell it? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Let's smell it together. I feel like we should save with this moment because it is the only one. Cha la 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 la. Ready? Sniff. Don't really, don't really smell a lot. Are you getting anything from that? It doesn't even smell. Leather and oak moss. Mmm. Love me a bit of leather. Andrew Pear? No. 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 Mango and ginger. No. Look, there's a pumpkin apple, but the problem is it's got a cork. Oh, so you can't even oh, smell it. That's actually quite nice. Oh, we love a bit of pumpkin spice. Warm tobacco pipe. Oh, that's right up my street. Oh no, why would you want your house to smell like that? Something I was actually on the hunt for the other day was some like Christmassy baking dishes and TK Maxx have actually got quite a lot of these. They've got this like reindeer kind of festive one up here and then they've got loads of red ones around here. Um, Cause I just thought that'd be cute for a bit of Christmas baking. Ooh, this one even comes with a spoon. 12 99 that's actually really good. Please buy with my little eye, a little Christmas cup. Love a mug that has a little lid. And they've got a winter. Oh god, that winter actually looks kind of looks naked. Oh my god, that is the weirdest thing ever. It's it even weirder when you start to pull it out. Like look, it just it's just his right. hands. That is so incredibly strange. Oh look! It kind of looks like a jumper, kind of looks like a reindeer. Aww, 3 99 And then there's also these. Oh look! These have got like little feet. Oh how weird. Cute though. Again, here I am taking back everything negative that I said about TK Max because we were actually upstairs and we just came down to pay for some cups because obviously I need more cups. And there's a whole bloody Christmas section. Oh cute. I love a snow globe. Oh. I've got these really cute boxes of chocolates, but they're already wrapped and they're only five pounds. They look so much more expensive. And then they've got, oh, their little tree decorations. Angel frickin' Gabriel up in here, up in here. Should I get this for the top of my tree? Um, I used to have one like that when I was younger. You know, when you I think everyone did. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Wow. Who loves a Christmas panettone? Oh my god, they've got so many. Look at this one. What is that green stuff? That looks like something from Mama Celebrity getting me out of here. What is that? But 
Some of these packages are so cute. Panettone. Do you like a panettone? Oh, chocolate orange one. Yum. Have a cracker. Tell us what's inside. Oh, those unicorns look a bit. <laughs> Yeah, they do look a bit questionable. <laughs> it's got some quite cute gifts in though. What have we like got? The little mini bowling. Yep. The little cup game where you swing it. I don't really know what the rest of it is, to be honest. What else have we got? Let's have a look. I love looking at the gifts on crackers. This one's quite a good one. You've got, I don't know what that is. You've got some clippers, little fish thing. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not really, I think this might be a phone holder. Screwdriver set, can't go wrong. Bracelet. Tiff, if you're watching this, found a bloody felt mouse. I might have to get this for you. Asda home, well, Asda living home, basically the home part of Asda. And I've just spotted these. Look how good these are. These are little empty Christmas Eve boxes and they're only two pounds each. They've got loads of different designs. They've even got a frozen one. But how good are they? They're even cheaper than B&M. So if you want to create a little Christmas Eve box, I'm going to do one of these in a vlog, in part of my Vlogmas, so you can kind of see what stuff I put inside. But such a good idea. I feel like Asda's candles are kind of a bit of a dupe of the next home ones. Like that looks so similar to the next home gingerbread. This would make a cute little gift set. Oh it is a gift set. Oh. <laughs> Read my mind. You get a little reed diffuser and a little candle in there for five pounds. Aww. Oh they do loads of different ones. They do berry spice, Christmas sparkle and gingerbread. They've actually got loads of different nice Christmas candles. Oh my god, look at these cookie tins. So cute. They've also got, oh wow, look at this, wow. Brussels sprout mug. They've actually got loads of Christmas mugs in here. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love that, oh. little penguin. Struck gold, everyone. This is like Christmas jersey bedding and it's only 12 pounds at the moment. There's loads of different ones. I love this like stag one and then they've also got penguin and then look how cozy these throws look. I love that penguin. Next stop we are in Poundland. Oh, I kind of want this. <laughs> <laughs> you want this? Not everything is a pound including this mug. Wow I mean okay these are super cute so they've got loads of the snowman like edible things so they've this. Oh lollipop. And what's this? Oh look, it's like a chocolate. That is so cute. I might have to get that for Mum's stocking. And they've got jelly beans and what are these? Bonbons. Oh wow! Guys, we found some bonbons. Personally, I just love the blue one. Oh yeah, I think that has such a much more. Pizzazz. Such a statement. Statement baubles. Oh, oh my god. Oh stop it. <gasps> is that bacon? What is that? Present? Bacon? It's not bacon. Good. Like a bacon coming wow. out of oh look. I mean, wow. These are so random. This car carrying a Christmas tree. We've got some boxes. We've got a pig. Wow. We've got a... Uh, I feel like Poundland isn't a box. A balding nutcracker. I feel like Poundland isn't the one for Christmas Day. Next stop, ladies and gents, is the range, which I'm very excited about because they usually have like the best Christmas stuff ever. So, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really been in here much this year, which is weird. Um, usually they've got like a big like Christmas winter wonderland and I whack myself in the face with my key then. We found it! Oh my god, this is exciting. Which aisle should we go down first? Oh wow! It's a little Christmas counter. That is so good! Oh, oh, that's wrong. Should be naughty. Naughty. But I can't, I can't explain, explain it. I can't explain. Light up house. I think I always get really jealous when I walk past houses and they've got these in the windowsill. I just think that house looks instantly cosy. Like Christmas. They've got more little houses. These are so cute. I kind of want one. I just think this looks like one of them American porches. Come on. Actually quite cute. Isn't it? Little polar bear. So they've got their sections again this year. So I feel like all of this kind of section is like red and wood, like a wooden theme. And then this side, they've got all of their blush pink and gold, rose gold. Oh, I love the little train. Oh, look. 
we should stand round. Like, oh my god, that's like me and you. That's like me and you in Nottingham. Roller coaster. This one kind of reminds me of Michael Jackson's Neverland. Oh wow, well, that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> My Santa got snow pouring out of his head. He doesn't look like a well Santa, does he? <laughs> this snowman doesn't either. I kind of like these though. They're a little bit different. I'm different, yeah. I'm different. They're actually amazing. So these are all like advent calendars and you can put your own little gifts in there <gasps> and they light up and they're only nine pounds fifty look how many different ones they've got i love this one look at this sleigh one you could get like someone's favorite chocolate and fill all of these up or something else cute that you could do like for your boyfriend or girlfriend you could put like a cute little note in each and they could open it each day of december wouldn't that be really cute wow you found a full on snowman. <gasps> and he's got a nose. Not like in bloody TK Maxx. They're actually really good as well. So you get all three for £30. They can look really nice like underneath your tree. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, I love how you just pick it up. Oh, you just intrigued. These ones are nice. Like, I like how these are set. I think these would look nice maybe like in the corner of the kitchen or something like that as well. Baubles are really well priced in here as well, like you can get really really detailed ones for like £1.19 They also do these in white that are really huge that are like 50p It is stocking galore in here, this one's nice It's only £3.50 They've actually got so many, oh they've got giant ones as well Is that a giant stocking? Yeah! So you can like keep people's presents in ones like this. Lots of Christmas flowers in here as well, so you can make like a little Christmassy bouquet. I love this like sparkly eucalyptus. That would look really nice in a bathroom. So when I said in my Christmas decor haul that the range has a lot of garlands, I mean they've got a lot of garlands. Like they've got them in pretty much every single colour. They're a range of prices, a range in the range. Oh, range the they've got a spinning tree. Oh my god, I want a spinning tree. Mind you, I don't decorate the back of mine, so that would look a bit crap. I, mean, I, would look <laughs> the time I, got I feel like I'm lagging a little bit because I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten yesterday and we are planning on going for a Nando soon. So I'm not going to lie. All I can think about is that chicken, that halloumi, that chilli jam. And anyway, these sacks are really, really good. I think they'd look really nice under the tree. They've got this like white starry one, which I think is cute. And then they've got your more like... I feel like these are the classic ones. Listen, you all owe me an apology because, you know when I said it was a gonk, pretty much I got annihilated in the comments and everyone was like, it's a gnome, it's a gnome, it's a bloody gonk. Look, Canon, don't stitch me up. Gonk. But these plates would be amazing if you're having like some people over and you've got them like, you know them sharing crisps that you can get? That would be so cute. And then there's also this one up here and then some more jugs and oh, Christmas bowl. So I saw these the other day and I've been meaning to tell you and it's just reminded me because we're now in here. These are only 25 pounds in the range and they're actually huge. They've got them in gray, white, and I've just seen a blush pink one as well. So if you didn't get your hands on the Primark one of these, they're pretty much exactly the same. So we're now in, that was quite um, dramatic. <laughs> I'll come down with you. We're now in B&M because I need some wintry cleaning bits and look, so winter awkward. glow unstoppables. Oh my god. I should sitting like scoring it. Oh lord. Just dropped a key. Frosted pine and apple comfort. I'm getting all the Christmas things what today. Do you smell all day. Do you want to sniff it? Oh, that's, that's lovely. That's a bit of me, that. I've taken my breath away a little bit. It's just that beautiful, isn't it? It's just that good. It's just that beautiful. To so, go first of all, they have got all of the Christmas Febreze. So, we've From got cranberry, wood. spiced apple, vanilla, vanilla latte, frosted, frosted pine. Oh, double set. <laughs> you sound wow. very excited about that. Up to 200 poos per pack. Wow. That's do you want that? Ended. Do you want that for Christmas? Stocking filler idea. <laughs> VI poo. Is, is very very similar to the one that we saw in TK Maxx but it's half the price and thermal lined well what can I say that's actually so nice I really want like a new fluffy fluffy I really want like a new fluffy throw I feel like it's just super Christmassy oh. Sophie make popcorn or pancakes in minutes I'm tempted to get us this for tonight oh with a bit of Nutella oh you can get one of these, have one of them, and then get some of this and have a film at home instead of cinema. Oh my god, because we were going to go cinema tonight. <gasps> Just saying. I 
and then we can get this disco torch once we're eating it. I'm Mil, I feel like you're going a bit far now. Can you remember these stalls that I showed you in the last B&M video? They've actually got them in pink, green and mustard. And grey. And grey. They're actually so good. How much are they? £20. <gasps> wow, Sophie's actually like dying over this. Why are you laughing? Produce a clip. Fish missing. What, so it's no fish in it? No. What the hell? Hello everyone. Completely forgot to film the ending once again. This is becoming like a regular occurrence now. I just never seem to film an ending. So please excuse this right now and just realise my evidence of eating an entire box of Ritz crackers today is in the background. It's Christmas. That's my excuse for the next month. I can't actually believe how bloody quickly December is going. It's absolutely crazy. I've still got some very festive videos coming right your way. So if you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Also turn the notification bell on because my uploads will still be every Wednesday and Sunday for the rest of December. But I've got a lot of extra uploads going on, like extra videos, vlogmas. So yeah, they're a little bit all over the place. But I really, really hope you're enjoying them so far. I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.